time has come. Damn, that nigga look fucked up. Singer Bobby Brown, husband of pop superstar Whitney Houston, was involved in a serious car accident today in Hollywood, Florida. God damn. After he lost control of a black Porsche Carrera. And they got fresh though. Brown injured his leg and neck. Authorities are awaiting the results of a With Phaedra Parks head. To determine if any charges will be filed. Damn, he got a little stain on, on his butt and shit. And they ain't to do my baby like that. Hey. I know about that. This nigga is really on this fucking sugar bullets. This earth hate me already. It's just like already all through the goddamn first five minutes. It's nothing but drugs. And just Whitney sitting there looking just stupid. Filing her nails and shit. Just looking stupid. Irritated. Focusing here and hallucinating. Hey, I mean, this nigga pull a gun out on Whitney? This nigga lunching. Young, this nigga Bobby fucking lunching. Oh my god. This nigga lunching like shit. Ain't he gonna run to a white house? You about to, you in the country, you about to go run to a white person's house with a gun in your hand. This nigga lunching. This nigga lunching. This motherfucker came out with the shotgun, yes. Where the fuck, what you thought you was about to this shit really fucking happened, young. Oh my god. Oh my god, this nigga is lunching, bruh. Young, this nigga lunching. Oh, that's my boo. How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, this is cooking up crack, like. But they not about to sell none of this shit. Like, this for them. The smoke. Did this nigga just bust his Oh shit, okay. Are you fucking kidding me right now, my nigga? Please tell me. Yo, please don't do this to me. Don't do me. I swear, like. How could you be like that fucking coked out your head, young? Oh. Uh, this bitch talking about we gotta stop doing this. Like, is she fuck? My fucking heart, young. I, I gotta get off for a second. Cause I'm, so sorry, I'm, so sorry. I'm like almost shaking. I'm like so disgusted right now. Oh, oh, oh! Like it's seriously something. Yeah, this nigga Bobby. The police done pulled up on him. They done put this nigga in jail. He's going through like withdrawal, like shit. He got the real dead ass fucking crack jaw, young. Oh my God. No. No, Bobby, please, please, no. No, please don't do no drugs in jail, please. Oh my God, please. Just kick it, Bobby, please. Please, oh my god, this is gonna make me cry, I swear to God. Oh my god, this is gonna make me cry, I swear to God, it's gonna make me cry again. Oh my god. And Whitney Houston, when she was on the phone with him, to be so like cruel and like, you gotta stay on the phone with me, you left me and it's your fault. Like, oh my god, that bitch. And, uh, and, and for her daughter to die like that, like, you can't even really blame Bobby Book for so much because he really wasn't even there, young. God, this shit is, oh my God, this shit hurt my heart, young. To see him beg like that for some more drugs, young. Thank God for that, man. I swear, the Lord. 
thank God for that man in that cell with him. Yeah. Oh my God. Bobby not eating. No, no, no. I swear to God, no. Bobby, no. I'm don't do it. Bobby, don't do it. Please don't do it, Bobby. Please, Bobby, don't do it, Bobby. Thank you. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you, Jesus. crackhead ass fucking bitch and he getting out looking clean and good ooh I, ooh ooh I don't want uh, I just don't even want to see this no more yeah. that bitch is toxic that bitch is toxic toxic she used him as a fucking beard like I don't even know if she even really loved him now like she had a whole fucking relationship, like, with a whole bitch the whole time, like, look at this bitch putting fucking drugs right in his face as soon as he come out of the fucking shit. Look at this bitch. Ooh, I don't like, oh my God. Bobby, please. Yeah, bitch, you said that you wanted them to quit. Oh, she was just doing something nice for him. Throw that shit out the fucking window. This bitch, is she really fucking trying that shit? She's trying to turn that shit around on him? Yeah, that's a real... T that's mental fucking abuse, yeah. This bitch is ill in her fucking head. Trying to make this Nikki feel bad. Just turn your back on him and do your fucking drugs, you fucking crackhead ass bitch. Oh my god. I just love that Bobby always had a love for cooking and. Are you gonna stay now? What? No. Take her. That's his if only thing he. He should have took his baby. Bobby should have just took his baby, and yeah. she'd right still be alive. And I swear to God. Nah, baby, see, that's flying the family stone. Way before your time, you don't know nothing about that. <laughs> Bobby, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bobby, you know what I'm saying? She can sing. This is a sad thing that little girl ain't here no more, yeah. This is please tell me he didn't stay in the house. He look like he clean. I hope he's still clean. Please Jesus. He need to just leave with me the fuck alone. And I do remember that song with Ja Rule. I love his manager. His manager always got his back. His manager always got his back. And I love that song. I know you in uh, dealing with them. I know you miss that love and that thug and thug love. And y'all know y'all love that song. Lord, what is they pulling Bobby over for now? Where are you in such a hurry to get to? 
Yeah, he look good. That damn boy, that damn. You realize you were doing 52 and 35, and you ran a red light. He ran a red light. License, registration, and proof of insurance, please. I don't have a moment. Is he serious? Step out of the car, sir. Come on, Bobby. That's just stupid. He's just doing stupid shit. That's just stupid. That's just like literally just stupid. Come on now. Why is all these people... Why is all these news people at his house? He's literally just getting out of jail. What is all this and why are they here? With the story interview, promotion for a new album. She didn't tell me. Maybe he has a sore throat. She's not feeling well. Now, whose bright idea was this? Bobby. Just give us one second. Are you on your rock ass, This is my house. Oh, that's, oh, that shit just, oh, that shit just turned me on. I know, that's right. For the most part. We sounded like some assholes. No, we didn't. I mean, maybe you did. I held my ground. That bitch is. You know, Diane Sawyer. That's the Diane Sawyer. It is. This was a big mistake. Watch. Mommy, what did we say that was so bad? The Diane Sawyer. Um, That's how he walked into the fucking Diane Sawyer fucking interview. I wasn't to talk this about bitch it. is a fucking narcissist. Hey, 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 I sound like a fool. So just really sit down. I told the truth, like me. This bitch is a fucking is narcissist. Okay, because okay? ain't nobody looking out for us but us. How about you worry about you and let me worry about me, okay? I'm not the one who spent the last night in jail again. Uh, Bitch. Guess that's why you didn't bail me out, right? Because you was too busy not smoking crack. Uh -huh. hey, no, 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 no. I want you to remember something, okay? See, it's my money that bought this house. I'm the one who's working and keeping us relevant. <clears throat> so if I want to spend my money to party or whatever it is I want to spend my money on, that's what I'm going to do. It's my choice. My so that's how it is. Oh my god, this bitch. What's yours is yours and what's mine is mine. She played the yeah, fuck out of this one. Nobody controls me? Come on now. If you don't know that by now, you better ask somebody. This bitch, oh my god. And I really do believe this shit. I really do. I really fuck. It is really do believe that this shit really happened like this. That this bitch was really a fucking narcissist ass fucking drug addict, junkie ass bitch, just like this. And, bad thing is that he really fucking loved her, like for real. Like he really fucking loved her. I don't like the way that bitch just like pushing him out of the house like that. Fucking cokehead ass bitch, probably rushing to go do a fucking bump or some shit. Fucking junkie ass bitch. Why she about to walk back into the house seeing her snorting a mountain of fucking coke or some a doing a line of some Is that a fucking nigga? This bitch bought a fucking nigga in the house. You gonna sneak another dude into my house thinking I'm gone? Are you out your damn mind? This bitch on her fucking head. Just a friend, This bitch on her fucking head. Ooh. Hey, young, this bitch, I swear to fucking God. I know that's right. Ooh, uh. Hey, uh. That's right, Bobby. Beat the fuck out that nigga. Fuck that nigga up, young. Beat the fuck out that nigga, young. I slightly want him to fuck her dumb ass up too, young. And bitch, he ain't even fucking hit you, bitch. You was pulling on his fucking arm. Your dumb ass shouldn't even have bought the nigga in the fucking house. His ass ain't do shit to you, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Ooh, uh, ooh, oh my God! This fucking movie. No, young. I told y'all this, this, this. The part two was gonna do me. The first one was my man crying. 
Hey, young, no, 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 young. Young, this shit hurt my heart. Shit, no man, like, really go through no shit like this, young. He ain't even fucking hit her, young. He ain't even fucking hit her, my nigga. No, I feel so fucking bad for Bobby, young. And you know what the fucked up thing is? My father always said. Because I was young when this shit happened. But I always remember my parents talking about this shit. Because my father loved Bobby Brown, young. He fucking loved that Bobby Brown album and that Ralph Tresvon album. And fucking Michael Jackson and Cameo. That's what he always listened to. And he always said, everyone always thought that Bobby was the one that got Whitney strung out on drugs. And my father always said, that bitch had his ass on drugs. And she was the bad one. Even after all of these years, Bobby has always kind of somewhat pulled himself to, together and tried to sustain himself. Clearly, as we're seeing, because he's not on drugs. If anything, he might be an alcoholic. But he ain't doing no fucking drugs no more. Like, this bitch is still doing fucking drugs, young. Oh, the fuck reality And the reality show was about Bobby. Bobby was funny and shit throughout the whole fucking shit, young. And thank you. Bobby, you not an evil person. Thank you. Thank you. And that's why they won't release that fucking reality show because that show really showed Whitney Houston for who she really is. They really seen who was on drugs. It wasn't Bobby. It wasn't Bobby. It was I'm getting the whole Bobby. Bobby. That's where that comes from. I don't know if, you know, those of y'all that are like real young, if y'all don't remember that era and stuff like that, that's where that comes from. This is the reality show. And they were fucking cute as shit. Hey, why they bang this joke though? <laughs> hey, yo, they bang that joke. Why they bang the reality joke, Joe? <laughs> why is they banging this joke? Hey, yo. <laughs> On Earth Day, hey, yo, they banging this shit out this joke. Hey, yo, these niggas like that. I'm a fan. Now she mad about what the tabloids got to say. Because you out here looking like a fucking crackhead. Who was they talking about looking bad? Whitney Houston. Not him. Not him. He sat there and told her that she do not have to be on the fucking film if she don't want to. He sat there and told, and what she said, I'm support my man. I'm support my man. Oh, I know she ain't talking about cheating. They don't understand the kids be hearing that shit. He said the night I met you, baby, you were getting booed. Do you remember? Ah, that nigga tried. No, this nigga tried her within every, every inch of her fucking life. He said, bitch, I made you. Oh, my. Are you really doing this? Yeah, I should have listened to my mother years ago. Okay. 
thought you was a crackhead years ago. Even when your mother. Please don't forget Robin. You know what I do know? Everybody started hitting Bobby Brown as soon as I got with you. America's little princess. Hmm. Why is she with that thug? He's too ghetto for her. He's too ugly for her. He's a leech. Maybe you said I was a leech. You know why I never let that stuff bother me? Because I knew that you didn't believe me. And I said, as long as you got my back, I don't care what you've done. That's some real ass shit. Oh, I want to hold Bobby. That bitch didn't deserve him. She didn't deserve him. I wish we did this damn show 13 years ago. Go to hell, Bobby. This show showed her to be who the fuck she really was. Everybody really did start to love Bobby Brown again. I love his manager. Daniel son, you the one. Daniel son, you're the one. Bitch have the audacity to say that she's going to rehab and that he is one of her triggers. Where you are right now, I want to see my daughter. Uh, you know, she's fine. Bobby, that's all you need to know. Whitney. I gotta go. Whitney. I gotta go. He should have went and got his fucking daughter. How long are you going to be going? As long as it takes. He should have went and got. He should have got Bobby Christina and held on to her and never let her go. She says she's headed to rehab. I got a feeling there in LA, so that's where I'm going. Okay, okay. So, so what happens when you do find her? Then what? Chrissy is all I care about. I don't give a damn about Whitney. It's done. It's over, Bobby. Come on, man. You gotta have been through tough times before. Oh man, this is different. We ain't the same. We ain't in love no more, Tommy. I gotta There's get my daughter. Left. I'm starting over. Which means I need some money. So we need to get some shows set up in LA ASAP. As long as I've been giving my heart to you, you should be giving me your love too. You just keep on making just like a fool. You know it ain't cool. I don't do it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Cool to you. Oh, yeah, that girl Alicia. I'm good. I'm good. That was that girl that was talking to him in the bathroom. That's his fucking wife. Hey, nah, she was always a real nice ass bar, though. Shut up. I broke it dancing. Oh, okay, so it's my fault. Oh, no. Guys, WV. Wow. It's not your fault. They live in the same neighborhood. Ooh. And his wife nah. is pretty too. Me and Whitney. We're not together anymore, so. Thank God. I just think we're. And him, him and his wife, they still together, ain't they? That's right. Nah, that's cool. Thank God for that. I mean, we didn't tell him. Whitney so. didn't deserve that, man. You wouldn't have known. And he's doing but, yeah, just fine. Enough about me. And he's in all his what kids' life. And he's a good I'm man and a good father. Okay. Whitney didn't trying. deserve that, man. Yeah. You don't be hearing about Bobby cheating or anything. You don't be hearing nothing. Okay. Bitch, that's why I believe in love. I don't care. I still believe in love. God gonna send me an angel just like that. Mm. Y'all know my favorite song is Angel by Anita Baker. I don't want a piece of your heart, honey. And you know what? She did. She was the one who helped him get his spice and his like cooking line and all of that shit like that. Cause Bobby Brown really does. You can Google it. Google it. He has like barbecue sauces and spices and all of that shit like that. And like his shit is like good. Fucking bitch. Do you want something to eat? Are you hungry? Bitch, you need something to eat. Don't worry, I'll pay. Don't worry, I'll pay. Shut the fuck up. Oh, I don't want to hear nothing. These the rules. Don't ask her anything about my personal business. I don't care about your business. Good. She don't need to know about yours either. Are you laying up with us? We don't concern her. Are you finished? Because I really want to spend some time with my daughter. I didn't come to see you. 
at all. Did not come to see you at all, bitch. Oh my fucking god. I can't. It's a girl from Power. How you doing? She's fine. She's still fine. How you been? You okay? I guess. I miss you. I guess. Listen, you don't know how much. That was a sign. You should have got your fucking daughter and got the fuck up out of there. Nope. She ain't been to school. I've been a little busy. In case you forgot. Making money. Having a career. Why the fuck she not in school? Are we not? Ask your mother. Hell, you can ask my mother and my sisters, but she can't eat this in school. But you did. Yeah, but I was working at your age. What is she reaching in her pocketbook to get? Is that a fucking cigarette? Cigarette she wants. Are you crazy? No, she can't. Am I crazy? She letting this girl smoke cigarettes. Yes, the bitch go over there and smoke. So he asked him a long time with his fucking daughter. Rat ass hoe. Ooh. It, yes. Are you? I know she's not talking you back to her father, father like that. Listen, I don't know what your mother's been telling you, but I'm still your father. And that's not gonna change. Do you hear me? Look at me. Listen, baby. Who the fuck hey, uh, I'm I trying. Okay, I, I really am. Okay, but I need you to help me. You don't need our help. You moved on. So have we. I think she kind of had some resentment in her heart that he left her. We're trying to make money for a cause for us. You got a hundred more dollars. No, he don't. I'm his manager now. He felt like he needed to make a change. Change. He ain't tell that nigga. Well, here's what I need you to understand. I'm Bobby's brother, first and foremost. The only reason I became his manager is because he needed somebody that he could trust. Yeah. Somebody who really cared about him. Mm -hmm. She do, this though. It's never been about the money for me. It's about family. Well, this is about business for me. Damn. I thought she fucked with Bobby, though. <sighs> Alicia, do you know why I came out here with him? No. Because I didn't want him to relapse. Yeah. You see, Bobby's been through more shit than you could ever know. Yeah, he has, man. Just that shit with Whitney was a lot. Bobby to come through all when of that. He was real heavy into those drugs. He and to get out of that drug, son. That's a strong ass man. You know, to this day. He was doing Tuesday. heroin too. Fucking heroin. Whenever my phone rings after midnight, I can't help but think that, um. So look, if he wants you to be his manager, then so be it. I respect that. I'll fall back. But listen to me. Don't lie to me or to yourself. And act like he's just some other client. Because he's not. I wish you all the best. <laughs> Bitch, don't lie to yourself. You like you from a Barbie girl. We shit that you don't want to do it. That's what great management is for. No. Management can only be great when the client's always honest. Don't ever make a promise to me that you can't keep. See, that's a good woman. A good woman make her man better. A good woman... It's a backbone to her man and make her man better. That's right, girlfriend. I love it. Bitch is fighting so much with herself. She knows she won Bobby. Go ahead and give in, girl. Get you. Get you. Bobby. Who the fuck is this nigga? He about to serve him with some fucking papers or something. Yeah, I am. You a fan? Got something you want me to sign? Not quite. This is acknowledgement of service for your divorce. <laughs> this nigga is drunk boots. Oh my god. 
this this nigga drunk boots listening to fucking soldier boy <laughs> nigga crank that soldier boy ah! Listen, listen. That was her car. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. No. Can we go get some food? Oh, bye, bye. Wait, wait, Why you ain't just telling you got served with the papers? She not having that shit. She expect better from you. She not with me. A good woman ain't gonna tolerate that shit. A good woman, especially when she know you and she know your worth and she know you, that you're better than you, she's not going to accept that from you. She's not going to accept that from you. This thing is still sitting out in the fucking grass. <laughs> he got the same fucking clothes on. I'm sorry, it doesn't mean shit to me. Can I at least tell you what happened? So you don't need to explain yourself to me, okay? That's what you're saying. Just spit it out. I got served with divorce papers last night. Okay. Hmm. Just seeing on paper like that broke me down. So you still have feelings for for Whitney? Mm -hmm. I'll admit it. Okay. I always have feelings for. I know, just. He went through a lot with her. Just made so many mistakes. Stop. Stop trying to get me to feel sorry for you. I don't, Bobby. I mean, I know you're hurting, but you knew this was coming. You didn't yes. get served with divorce papers. You got served with life. And yes. That's never gonna stop happening yes. Now. I served with life. I, that's some real ass shit. Girl. Breathe life into him, baby. And right now, my head is telling me that this is such a bad idea. Breathe life into him, baby. Hey, Pull that man up. Pull him up, baby. Pull him up off that step. Pull him up. Oh, I'm feeling you. You have to be better for me. Yes, I told you she's not gonna accept that. Pull him off of them steps, baby. Mmm. <sighs> Y'all better believe in love. Y'all better believe that there is a good person out there. When you really... Uh, mm, it's doing something to me. When you do right, God sent them to you. It's hard when you try to come into an already made family. Especially when it comes to you know, you're dealing with the kids. At least I, I never, I didn't have a bad experience with that. I'm so glad I didn't have an experience, a bad experience where I didn't like the kids or the kids didn't like me or something like that. I'm so blessed that I didn't have a bad experience with that. Bobby's thing is the alcohol. She not playing that shit with that fucking alcohol. I'm tired. She not playing that shit with with that fucking alcohol. Maybe I should have did that shit. my entire life for you i took you in i got you back on your feet i got your finances together kept you working i welcomed your entire family into my world i've shared everything and i mean i don't know where you are half the time whether you'll relapse you have been on cocaine heroin but you still drink every day you're still an addict and yeah and I, I have to be able to trust you. I have to be able to depend on you. Yeah. And you the man. I've asked you. You should be, be strong. Right, right now, I need you to be better. She needs her king. She needs to see you be strong. She needs to be better. Oui. She's, yeah, she's pregnant. I yeah. Can't believe me. I'm pregnant. 
Let me tell you how my God work, y'all. Let me tell y'all how my God work. Let me tell y'all how my God work. Let me tell y'all how my God work. I'm tired. I told y'all I knew I was going to cry. Let me tell y'all how my God work. Sorry, y'all, but y'all gotta know my God. Yeah, I swear to God, y'all gotta know my God. Y'all gotta know my God, and y'all gotta have faith and hold on. Even when you feeling like you breaking down in the world and everything is coming down on you, never doubt him. Never doubt him. He will move things out of your life, honey. I'm sorry. I don't mean to cry y'all. He will move things out of your life. He will put people, places, and things in your environment for a reason. Don't ever question him. You just do your work. You hold on. Have faith. He put that girl in his life for a reason. He put that baby in his life at that time for a reason. Because he was slipping. God is powerful. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. And I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cry, y'all. But I knew I was going to cry. Yet, I swear. Uh, that woman right there is beautiful. She beautiful. Whitney did not deserve that man. All he needed was a good woman. I swear. Uh, I'm not ready to see Bobby Christina die. I'm not ready. His father's coughing up blood. I Yes. Always a man. Yes. You got to know what a love wrench is, son. Hey, young, I needed this, young. I know this whole album. My father used to play this shit. I, I promise you. That's right. You better call your woman on the stage. I, that's always put your investment in a man that put his investment in you. A man that's proud of you. Proud of you. As show you to the world and don't care. You understand? Guys, in front of the world, I don't want to cry. I'm gonna cry. Oh my God. Yes, I'm gonna cry, y'all. Oh my God, oh I don't want to cry. I don't want to do it, but I'm gonna do it. Fucking mother. Oh my god, I thought he was about to say his fucking father, his mother. Oh shit. No. What the hell is
Miss Whitney Houston about to go up there and say. She better not do no crackhead shit about this funeral. First of all, before I can sign these things, this is my mother-in-law. I have an always. That's my mother-in-law in there. Amen. And I love me some Carol Brown. Don't try to go in there and try upstage Bobby's fucking wife, bitch. I was wondering if it's all right with you. I sing a little something for her. Bitch, shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> shut the fuck up, bitch. The only blessing that you had on you was a fucking voice, bitch. You a fucking goddamn dope head, crackhead, as narcissistic as fucking dope fiend and got your goddamn daughter strung out on some fucking dope too, just like your stupid fucking ass. You destroyed your life. You destroyed Bobby's life. And you destroyed your fucking daughter's life, you stupid fucking bitch. I'm sorry that you cannot live your life the way that you really wanted to because your mother had issues. And she wouldn't let you be who you was and you dealt with whatever tragedies, but bitch, you were still a fucked up person, okay? A narcissist above all, and you ain't even put your goddamn child's well-being above. And even in the moment of this man's mother's funeral, you had to make that shit about you, bitch. Thank Lord for her voice. When she was able to come through in that moment and turn that around. Cause she, ugh, now the father died. He probably died of a book quickly. He probably couldn't hold on after the mother died. Look at Bobby. He couldn't even come in there. Go ahead, practice, Bobby. <sighs> this fucking movie, bro. Is Donald you okay? What the fuck just happened? Yeah. What the fuck? It's Whitney. Oh, it's Whitney, Dad. She's gone. Daddy. Chrissy, where are you, baby? Is anyone with you? I just heard. I am kids. Did he really? It's his brother named Nick. Listen, baby, gotta tell daddy where you are, okay? I'm gonna come get you. Just tell me where you are. He's like, you don't have no brother named Nick. Yeah, like, like, what the fuck are you talking about? They got all the way in, in Mississippi. Listen, man, just get to my baby, okay? Oh, my God. Please, find my Chrissy, man. Oh, my God. I'll find her. I'll find her. I'm leaving right now. Oh, my God. And he's like, who the fuck is Nick? I feel so bad for Bobby. He had no idea. He had no fucking idea what the fuck was going on, you want to hear my news or not? And, young, his mother just died. His father just died. And Whitney just died, like, back to back, young. Do y'all understand that shit? And we know Bobby Christina is about to die too. I want y'all to understand how much tragedy this man has gone through in his life. You understand? This is a strong man to be sitting here and being able to tell this story to the world. He deserves to tell his story to the world. He really does. He's been through a lot. The Lord is so miraculous to be able to pull him through and the fact that he can still stand in and be able to tell his story. Where the fuck are they hiding exactly Bobby why. Christina from? Because they hate me more than they love her. Sorry, sir. Yeah, I am. That's her Thank fucking you, father. I told you not to let out your sight. She wanted us to take a shower. What the hell was I supposed to do? How was I supposed to know that they were going to sneak her out of the room? And who was this damn Nick person? That's what I want to know. From what I'm hearing, he lived with him. Whitney took him in. So they got this dude living at home with my child and nobody bothers to tell me? Hello? What the 
funeral. Didn't they give him a whole bunch of shit at the funeral and him and his kids end up having to leave? Why the fuck did they even bother him? What are they bothering him for? Those are his fucking kids. Are they fucking serious right now? God don't like ugly. That's why Whitney is being dragged through the fucking media gutter. All these fucking all these fucking documentaries exposing and I know it's making her mother it's, it's hurting her mother more than anything cuz her mother did this. He loved her. You understand? No matter how much of a little narcissistic little drug addict, little toxic little bitch she was, he loved her. And he did not deserve to be treated like that. Nor did his kids. They said up there and made a fucking mockery. Look at the media. Let him speak to his fucking daughter. Why won't they let him speak to Chrissy? Why won't they let him speak to his fucking daughter, yeah? What the fuck? And you're not so fucking crazy, yeah? Atlanta two years later, oh my god, in the name of Jesus. Two years. A lot of decisions were being made for me that yeah. I didn't even know about. Decisions but being made for her. And I'm not letting people tell me what to do. But I have to be honest with you, Daddy. When you left us, it hurt me. Yeah, I knew that. First you left. And then Mom left me too. Yeah. I just feel like you both abandoned me. And I just, I, I didn't know how to handle it. To be honest, uh, I'm still not sure I do. All I know is I can't be mad anymore. I don't want to be mad. I just want my dad back. I know that's right. For him to hear that shit, he had to get away from that shit. It's not that he wanted to leave her. He okay, didn't so want to leave her. He had to you. leave that toxic um, ass shit. Before her mom died, she was really working with me on my voice, just teaching me a lot of technique and stuff like that. And I think I want to try and record a song. Too baby, that baby didn't get a chance to really go out there and be what she should have been. Same. Look at him and they're making them sauces and she about to get that shit bottled up. Mark, look, a good woman, a good woman behind her man, okay? Mm -hmm. You better cook, Bobby. See, and Bobby was doing all that cooking and shit on the motherfucking show for real. I don't know what... Found that girl floating in the fucking. 
I know that's right. Her mother dies from drowning after she suffers a heart attack in the bathtub. Not three years later, my daughter almost drowns in a bathtub. And y'all can't tell me whether or not if it's foul play? Mr. Brown, at this point, we're not ruling anything out. We just need to finish our investigation and see where it all leads. I think where it all leads. Okay. How long was she there before someone found her? We haven't determined that. But to my understanding, there's one person that was with both Whitney and Chrissy when this happened, and his name is Nick Gordon. Now, I don't want this man nowhere near my daughter. Just believe if I find his ass before y'all do, y'all might as well put me in prison right now. This nigga was around Whitney and Chrissy. In the name of fucking Jesus. And when they saying that nigga was trying to get fucking um, Bobby Christina money and shit like that after she died or something. Oh, Jesus, help me. Why is he not in jail? We tried everything. Why is he not we in jail? Atlanta to Chicago. Oof. Back again trying different treatment. She's no longer responsible. And the doctors said they've done all they can. Okay, I'm finding out the options here. The hospital won't let us stay there anymore. Mr. Brown. Oh. This is never an easy Jeez. transition for any family. But if you should decide to place your daughter in our care, just know that we will do everything in our power to make her last moments of life as peaceful and as comfortable. I can't as imagine as having to make that decision ever. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh... Swear to God. He should not have had to bury his baby, huh? Oh, he should not have had to bury that little girl. After Whitney died, they kept that girl from him. For what reason? He could have saved her. I just want everybody to understand that they kept that man from being a father to his child as his child. It's been a struggle. I wake up every day. Damn, I'm sorry. Get through it. Some days Oh, this movie, y'all. Oh, my gosh. And to be honest with y'all, I don't, I don't know why I'm still alive. I think I'm still Because you're here to tell the story. Mm. Oh, Ooh, y'all. I'm trying not to cry, young. I swear. Oh my gracious. That makes me smile. I just, I. But she's loving. This movie done did me. She's been here with me. I told y'all I was gonna cry. And I told y'all y'all gonna get the full footage. I wasn't gonna uh, take out the scenes of me crying. Y'all gonna see the full emotion that this movie was gonna give me. This is a good ass movie. It's a good ass movie. 
his real son in the fucking movie? Why that look like his real son, like the little boy? Is that his real baby? I want to see that little boy again. Yes, that's his real son. That's his son. That's his real son. Him. That's his real son in the movie. Yes, baby, go ahead, dance. Go ahead and be your daddy. Be just like your daddy, baby. Yes, Bobby. You better put your baby in that motherfucking movie. That's the next generation. That's right. It's like that. It's like that. Yes, little Bobby. Yes. This was such a good movie, y'all. Good movie. By Bobby. Look at Bobby Christina. Yes, it's food lines. Yes, Bobby. Yes, y'all better know about my baby. Oh, this made me so happy. Cry again. I don't want to cry again. Okay, I got to go, y'all. Oh, this movie was so good, y'all. Oh, my God. I hope y'all enjoyed this, young, because I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this movie. This movie, uh, both parts, I done been up and down, and I done been around. And Bobby Brown, I just want you to know, I know you probably not going to ever see this video, but I was one of them kids that was that Ghostbusters fan? I swear to God, back then, I swear to God, young, I've loved you since New Edition. Like, I mean, since I was old enough to know about New Edition and shit. You are also legitimately one of the greatest of all time. And I don't give a fuck about what you've ever done in your life, my nigga. Can't nobody take them songs from you, nigga. You got hits after hits after hits, nigga. These R&B niggas wish they could be half a fucking Bobby Brown, nigga. And nigga, you don't fucked on Janet. You fuck boots off Janet. Nigga, you the goat. Fuck that shit. Good night.